STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. Centrifugal force is what pushes you to the side of your car. Adam from the Michigan Science Center is going to teach us more about centrifugal and centripetal force. Centripetal force is also used in our next activity, the art bot. The first step of your art bot is to make a little glob of glue on some kind of plastic surface so you can peel it up while it's, once it's dry. For this project, you will need a hot glue gun and a small motor, a solo cup and some tape, 
a 9 volt battery and an alligator clip, two lengths of wire about 5 inches long, make sure you strip the wires at both ends, four markers of any color, and if you want, you can have some googly eyes to make your robot really happy. The first step of your ArtBot is to make a little glob of glue on some kind of plastic surface so you can peel it up when it's dry. When your glue is fully dried, put another glob of glue onto the glue so that you can stick it to the actual rotor of the motor. Make sure that it is off center so your robot can move. Feed one end of each of the wires into the tabs on the motor and secure by twisting the wires to each other. Make sure the wires are not touching in the middle. Wrap one of the ends of the wires that you just wrapped around the motor on top of a 9 volt battery. You are looking for the side that looks like a hexagon, not the side that is round. You are going to wrap the wire around the hexagonal shape and tape down with some tape. Test to make sure that the circuit is working by tapping the wire onto the battery. Put the end of the second wire through the hole in the back of the alligator clip and wrap it around so that the exposed part of the wire is touching the clip. Check to see if the circuit is working by clipping the alligator clip onto the circle part of the battery. Securely tape the battery to the top of your cup so that the end of the battery is still showing. Tape the motor to the side of the cup. Make sure that the hot glue is above the side of the cup so that it can spin without hitting the cup or the battery. Tape each of the four markers evenly around the cup so it can stand up. Make sure that the caps of the markers are lined up with the bottom of the cup so that we can take off and put on the caps easily. This also makes it easier to make sure the markers are all the same length. This is an optional step. Hot glue some googly eyes to give your bot personality. You are finished! Attach your alligator clip to the round part of the battery and watch the robot make beautiful art. Today we interviewed Dana Moet. She is an interior designer and owner of Valia Design. How do you use steam in your job? Has anyone asked for tech to be used in their house? What classes in school prepared you for your job? Thank you.
Last time, we asked you a question about forces. Maddie Cassicelli answered the question correctly with centrifugal force. We are here at East Hills to give her her prize. Michigan's This month's question is, what makes the different colors in fireworks? Answers to this question can be submitted to our team website, www.team2834.com. One lucky person who answers the question will win a prize. Good luck! <laughs>